YouTube, my name is Mesa Sean, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Alright folks, this one's going to be a follow-up video to yesterday's video, and a video by request. When I made yesterday's video going over what you probably should do before this week's reset, and by the time this video goes live, that reset's going to be tomorrow, um, you want to dump all of your fractal into one of the destination obelisks and raise the resonance power of your tower obelisk. And this way, you will get free, yeah, in a nutshell, you will get free fractal every single week, which you could choose to then either just dump back in and uh, raise your resonance power of the tower obelisk, or you could donate to the Empyrean Foundation. It's gonna cost 100 fractalin to do a donation to the Empyrean Foundation. So we've got a whole bunch of community goals and so forth, but you can watch that video. I will link and annotate it on screen. But in that video, I had about 20, close to 20,000 fractalin. And one of the ways that I got that was by doing bounties, doing the weekly bounties, doing the daily bounties, and I posed the question, would you like me to do a full video on every single bounty, the Saint-14 bounties and also the weekly bounties? Most of them are fairly straightforward, and you can see where I'm getting most of them done. That's going to be the Castellum, because not only can you get your daily bounties from Saint-14 done, your weekly bounties from the Obelisks, uh, you can also get your Banshee bounties done. That's why I have so many mod components and also I just have a ton of enhancement cores for the most part. So in this video, we're going to go over all of the different bounties from Saint-14 and also the uh, Obelisk bounties, the weekly bounties, and give you the method to my madness. If you have some better methods, please drop them in the comment section because this is just the way I've been doing it. And it's been really easy, guys. It's not been like I've been playing eight hours a day collecting fractalin. No, I simply log in. Do the weekly bounties on each character. I do the daily bounties on each character for the most part. I mean, I don't go crazy with it and it really didn't take up too much time. So without further ado, let's get into all of these bounties and uh, I'm gonna give you some tips because uh, most of them are pretty straightforward, but some of them I'm gonna give you some tips to make your life a whole lot easier, okay? So if you enjoy this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. If you wanna be part of an awesome Destiny 2 Mesa Army community over on Discord and join the Mesa Army clan, Click the link in the description or click join on screen. All right, let's get into it. So I'll grab the Tower Obelisk bounties for all the destinations. I will grab the Saint-14 bounties. Then I will grab the Banshee bounties. I will go to Tribute Hall and I will load up on ammunition for the weapons I need for the Banshee bounties or just anything in general that relates to the other bounties. From there, we're going to go to the Castellum for most of these. But since we're going to be reading off a list from Light.gg with all of the different bounties, well, let's just go through it. Let's burn through them. First off, we have Defeat Cabal Bosses. Now, you do not have to do Cabal Strikes. Simply go to Mars, go to the Glacial Drift, go to that one lost sector, kill that boss three times over, and you've got this bounty completed. Next up, we have Defeat Challenging Enemies Anywhere in the System. What I do is I go to the Leviathan Raid, and I kill all of these yellow bars right out front. Front. I will then go back out into orbit, come right back in, and rinse and repeat. By the time you do two runs, when you go to the top, as if you were going to the Castellum, you will need one more yellow bar kill. And just kill one of those big boys as soon as you're going into the Castellum. There's a bunch of them there. You don't want to mess with those guys unless you really feel like getting into it with them. But usually if you just do the front, kill everything, and then by the time you make it to the Castellum, after two runs of the front set of yellow bars, you could just kill one of those up top and you're done with this one. Next up, we have Defeat Cabal using your finisher. Once again, just go to the Leviathan Raid, go to the Castellum and you can get this done while you're doing some of the weekly stuff and maybe some other Saint-14 bounties that involve a lot of kills and then also involve Cabal. Then we have Defeat Fallen anywhere in the system. Now what I like to do, and trust me on this one, go to the moon and go to the Lost Sector over at Anchor of Light. When you do one run of these, now even though this is a Saint-14 bounty, one of the weekly bounties requires a lot of Fallen kills. One run of this Lost Sector is going to give you about, like a, I think, like 113 or 120 so, or so uh, Fallen Kills. This, by far, is the easiest way to get Fallen Kills, a Fallen Finisher Kills, and so forth. Defeat enemies with your super. You could either get that done in the Castellum, because you will have non-stop ad spawning, or just get it done in some of these Lost Sectors. If I'm on my Hunter, I'm going to go with Arc Strider with Raid and Flux for my Exotic. 
Uh, for my Warlock, I'll go Bottom Tree Dawnblade. And for the Titan, I will go Bottom Tree Sunbreaker with the Phoenix Cradle Exotic Boots. Then we have Defeat Cabal Champions. You can get that done in the Sundial really quickly, or you can then go to one of the Nightfall Ordeal Strikes. I would say go Sundial. Then we have Defeat Powerful Cabal Enemies. Just do what I did uh, or showed you earlier, which was the Front of the Leviathan. Then we have Defeat Cabal Anywhere in the System. Just go to the Castellum. Defeat Enemies with Precision Damage. You can get that done at the Castellum also defeat enemies with melee abilities now it has to be charged melee abilities so if you have Monte Carlo you want to use Monte Carlo now if you don't have okay let's say you're on your hunter and you're on your night stalker right well what you want to do is you could either use spectral blades but if you actually let's say uh, it's a melee ability that requires a void or something like that grab a void sword and from there if you get hilt kills with the sword it will count towards that particular bounty we'll get into it in a little bit because the weekly ones i believe do require but let's get through these saint 14 bounties. defeat enemies with solar damage and that could be your abilities or a solar weapon we've got defeat enemies with void damage same thing but with void defeat cabal with precision damage once again use the castellum defeat the scion boss in the sundial just do one sundial run uh, defeat enemies using void grenades now Anything with uh, grenades, what you want to do is try to have a weapon with Demolitionist on it. It's going to make your whole, like your life a whole lot easier. And on your class item, run Double Bomber. Because every time you use your class ability, well, you're going to get your grenade energy back faster. Defeat enemies using Void Melee abilities. Defeat enemies using Solar Grenades. And defeat enemies using Solar Melee abilities. Once again, I will go to the Castellum for that. And as I mentioned before, you want to use Monte Carlo because Monte Carlo will give you your melee ability. Remember, these have to be charged melee kills, not just regular melee kills. And if you're on your Hunter Night Stalker, Spectral Blades will count. However, if you need a lot of them, just grab yourself a Void Sword and just get Hilt Kills. Moving along to the weekly bounties now. First one is complete patrols anywhere in the system. Simply grab patrols when you're out and about. Then we have two close. Defeat enemies using swords or melee damage. Now, there is another one where you need to kill a whole bunch of Vex. So for me, I like to go to Artifact's Edge, where you see me right now getting sword kills. Because when you're right outside the landing zone of Artifact's Edge over on Nessus, Vex will keep spawning over and over and over. And there's a Lost Sector right next to it that is just filled with Vex. So you can get the Vex Bounty weekly bounty done, and then also get this weekly sword kill bounty done. But yeah, you can see the Vex will spawn over and over and over, and it's really easy, this one. Next up, we have clear Lost Sectors in the Solar System, and I believe it's five. Now, the easiest way to do this one is go to the European Dead Zone, fly into the Trossland where the NPC Devrim K is, and right below the church is going to be a lost sector called the Atrium. When you go in there, it's a straight shot to the boss, and it takes like two seconds to clear out. Just do five of those, and you got this one done. Next up, we have special effects. Using energy weapons, rapidly defeat enemies in groups of three or more without taking damage. Again, I would use the Castellum. Then we have perfect shot. Defeat hive with precision damage. I would go to the Lost Sector K1 Revelation. That is over where the Altars of Sorrows is, or uh, Sorrows Harbor. The reason why you want to use the Lost Sector is because once you go in there, you are by yourself, and there's tons and tons and tons of ads to kill. At first, I was going to do Altars of Sorrow, but the problem is when you run into other players, you're going to compete for the kill. So do the Lost Sector there instead of doing Altars of Sorrow. Then we have Legion's Downfall. Defeat Cabal anywhere in the system. Simple. Use the Castellum again. Then we have uh, Resourceful. Collect materials in the European Dead Zone or Mars. By far, just do the European Dead Zone. If you have your obelisk from uh, the European Dead Zone linked to the tower, you should be able to see where all the planetary resources are. And the EDZ, in my opinion, they're just way easier to spot and they're way more frequently spawned, especially in the Tross Land. Usually the Tross Land, where I directed you to go before, right where Devrim K is, spawn in there and just do laps around the church and you will get this done really quickly. Moving along, we have Swift Precision. Rapidly defeat enemies in groups of two or more using Precision Final Blows, once again. Use the Castellum, a grand adventure, complete adventures anywhere in the system. I usually like to grab the ones from Mars because they're simple, they're easy, and they're quick. All right, uh, grand finale. Use finishers on fallen combatants and defeat fallen anywhere in the system. Once again, go back to the Anchor of Light Lost Sector and get all of that done there. You will have so many fallen to kill and, of course, get your finishers done there. Then we have careful aim. Using a bow, defeat Cabal with precision final blows. So grab your favorite bow and head on over to guess where? Yeah, the Castellum. That's why I've been calling this Season of the Castellum, not Season of the 
the dawn. Next up, we have Up in Flames, another easy one. Defeat enemies using solar abilities. It can't be solar weapons, has to be abilities. So once again, go to the Castellum. Three birds, one stone. Using a scout rifle, rapidly defeat enemies in groups of three or more without reloading. Do that in some of the lost sectors when you're just uh, farming for, let's say, uh, all fallen kills or vex kills or even scorn kills. We're going to get to them in a little bit here. But once again, go to the Castellum. Then we have Strike a Blow. Simply defeat enemies and strikes. Just play a few strikes and you'll get that one done. Next up, we have Complete Heroic Public Events. And that's simple, but I would say the easiest way to get this one done is do the European Dead Zone. The European Dead Zone seems to be like the place where everyone tends to make them heroic. I find that on a lot of other destinations. Uh, players just want to burn right through them, especially on like the Tangled Shore. Forget about trying to do a heroic public event on the Tangled Shore. The uh, boss comes out and everyone just nukes them. Next up, we have Leaderless They Fall. We need to get Fallen Captain kills and also Sniper Rifle kills. So go where I am going. I am on the Tangled Shore, just to the right of the Empty Tank Lost Sector, over at Thieves Landing on the Tangled Shore. Go down this little area here as if we were going to one of the strikes for the Tangled Shore, and your Fallen Captain's going to be right there. So you kill the Fallen Captain, and as soon as you kill him, just leave the area, and as soon as you come back out and you see thieves landing on your screen, then you could just turn right back around, come down the stairs, and the Captain will be there to kill him once again. Do that a few times. I think it's 10. You need to get 10 Captain kills, and you've got that part done. The rest, uh, it was the last time I checked, 45 Sniper Rifle kills that you need to get. Once you get those 45 sniper rifle kills, then you've got this bounty completed. Unless Bungie has changed it. I know it was, I, I believe it was not one of the rotating bounties for this week. But yep, there he is. Fallen Captain's back there. Kill him. Do that 10 times. You got it done. Next up, we need to kill a whole bunch of Scorn. So what I do is I go to the Tangled Shore and I go to Thieves Landing and I go to this lost sector right here. I'm going to show it on the map. Now, I'm going to get a little pushback here because some will say go to the Dreaming City. But just hear me out on this one. This one's so much easier to clear because it's fast, it's short, the scorn are right there, and you could fly right back to the landing zone and rinse and repeat, do this a few times, and you'll have this bounty done. You can go to the Dreaming City and go to the Bay of Drowned Wishes Lost Sector, which technically I think it has a bit more scorn in it, but I think it's more annoying. This one's really fast. You could clear it out. You have a whole bunch of those enemies there that have the uh, the lanterns, whatever they're called. They die instantly, and then as soon as you kill the boss, you will have a whole second wave of scorn that will spawn in right after the boss dies. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. Do you prefer the Dreaming City Lost Sector, or do you like this one? I like this one. It's just way faster, and... I don't know, when it was 300, I don't know what it is now, it's probably like 200 or something like that. Just a couple of runs and you can get this done. Then we have Finger on the Pulse, defeat enemies using pulse rifles. I like to get that done in the Castellum, because I'm there non-stop with my Outbreak perfected. Then we have Hand of the Vanguard, defeat bosses and strikes, that's simple, just do a couple of strikes. Use finishers on Cabal combatants and defeat Cabal anywhere in the system, go to the Castellum. We have Overkiller, defeat enemies using a grenade launcher, rapidly defeating enemies in groups of two or more. Will grant the most efficient progress again Castellum. Then we have Cut to the Quick. Using a sword, rapidly defeat enemies in groups of two or more. You could use the Castellum, or if I'm getting the Vex one done, which is coming up here soon, I will just go to Archer's Line and watch those Vex spawn over and over. Then we have Harnessing the Void. Defeat enemies using Void abilities. Once again, I'll go to the Castellum. If, uh, let's see, I'll run Double Bomber so I get my grenade back, and depending on what I'm using class-wise, I'll use Monte Carlo to get my melee ability back. Also, aside from Double Bomber, if you have a weapon with Demolitionist, as I mentioned before, use that because you will get your grenade energy back. Then we have No Time to Lose. Using Kinetic Weapons, rapidly defeat enemies in groups of three or more without taking damage. Go into the Castellum with a uh, Scout Rifle. Then we have Hero's Journey. Complete a heroic adventure and defeat enemies anywhere in the solar system. So whatever flashpoint it is for that week, just go do the heroic adventure. Defeat Fallen with Precision Final Blows. Use this Lost Sector that you're seeing on screen right now, which is the one over at Archer's Line. Then we have Reporting for Duty. Just simply complete patrols anywhere in the system. That's easy. Lastly, we have End Simulation. Defeat Vex anywhere in the system. So for me, I go to Archer's Line, just like I mentioned before, where we're getting the sword kills. But there's a Lost Sector there with tons and tons of Vex. There's probably some other easier ones, but I don't know. I'm just used to this one. Let me know in the comments.
the comment section, is there a better lost sector full of X? I know there's one on IO, but this one seems to just have a whole bunch. Uh, it's pretty quick to get in and out. You could just annihilate everything and yeah, just get out of dodge. So I think that's it, guys. I'm looking at my list here and I don't see any other bounties for Saint-14, but if I did miss one, I'll leave it in the pinned comment or you let me know in the comment section. But I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please hit that like button. It really does help me out. And definitely share this video because hopefully a lot of other people would like to know some easy ways to get those weekly bounties done, especially with Empyrean Foundation dropping tomorrow. So leave me a good old hashtag made it to the end if you did make it to the end. If you'd like to further support this channel and my work, click join on screen or click the link at the top of the description to become a channel member. We've got an amazing Destiny 2 Mesa Army community over on Discord. We've got a clan as one of the bonus perks, one for PS4, one for PC, and one for Xbox, as well as a few other perks. And we have a lot more stuff coming down the road for 2020, including when I live stream you have custom emojis so i'll see you guys live tomorrow here at reset i'll be streaming live right here on youtube all right i'll see you guys drop a like in this video only if you see fit follow me on twitter at mesa sean check out my stream usually know it's on youtube and that's it i am out of here like vladimir